What's going on guys, Also here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at a new team of the season card that has just came out and it is going to be Romarinho to review today. I believe that's how you pronounce him. If I'm pronouncing him wrong, I'm very sorry. Either way, the card looks outrageously good, doesn't he? Like 97 pace on the card straight up. Okay, we see you. He's got 91 dribbling as well, 90 shooting, 87 passing with a 78 physicals. Now he is a five foot nine player with high medium work rates, four star skill moves and a four star weak foot. Things you love to see. EA actually gave him a weak foot upgrade, which is something they didn't do to Mason Mount when it came down to the skill moves, but we're not going to go ahead and do that, you know? We're just going to push that to a side. We're over it, you know? I still wanted four-star skill moves on Mason Mount, but I didn't want to do it. But at least we got a four-star weak foot on Romarinho. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, we couldn't ask for a more perfect chem style. The guy needs more long shots. Here you go. Here's a plus 10 long shots. The guy needs more reactions and ball control. Here you go. Here's plus 5 reactions and a plus 10 ball control. The guy doesn't really need more strength because 81 strength for a 5 foot 9 player is very good. But we'll take the plus 10 going up to a 91 strength. 91 strength for a 5 foot 9 player. That's things you'll love to see. Now, when it comes down to the pace, boys, he has got 97 acceleration with 97 sprint speed. There's not going to be a lot of people catching up to this guy. Let's just say that. Now, he's shooting with a T. He has got 95 attacking positioning, 99 finishing, 94 shot power, 94 long shots, 86 volleys with the 90 penalties as well. And just imagine if this guy had the finesse shot trait as well. It would have been GG. The guy would have been absolutely insane at finishing, but obviously he doesn't have it. But I'm still expecting a very very clinical player inside that box and even outside that box as well passing ability though he has got 84 vision 83 crossing 92 free accuracy 92 short passing 82 long passing with the 87 curve as well long passing is unexpected let's say i expected it to be a little bit higher especially for a cam but this guy right now is giving me more of a like a striker vibe you know now his dribbling ability he has got 99 agility with 99 balance with the 91 reactions the 97 ball control the 99 dribbling but the 80 composure obviously the composure is nothing outrageously good let's all be fair but the dribbling in general looks very very good now his physicals he has got 87 jumping with 97 heading accuracy you're telling me this guy has pretty much got everything to his locker. He's got the heading ability. He has the pace, the shooting, the passing, the dribbling, and even the strength as well. 91 strength. Come on. The guy is pretty much like the full package apart from, you know, the five star skill moves or like a five star weak foot. But he also has got 98 stamina, which is very nice and 48 aggression. Which we're not going to talk about. How does someone have 48 aggression, but 81 strength? How's that even a thing? But either way, we move on, boys. Now, when it comes down to the links for this guy, you can clearly see that we've got Brazilian players around him. Because the league, let's all be fair, is not the greatest for links. So, yeah, we've gone for your boy David Neres, Marquinhos, and your boy Wallace as well. Now, when it comes down to which positions will I be trying this guy in, it is going to be a 4-4-2 in that striker position. But I will try him in that cam position as well in a 4-2-3-1. But let's get into the games. Round a corner, well played. Romaninho was actually coming short there. I wanted him to make that run in behind. I've told him to make the run though. Through ball, that's perfect. Little ball roll into the inside. Hill to hill. Oh, one dribbling seems very good as well. Is that going to be a penalty? It's not going to be a penalty and we are not going to get up and get that ball back. He didn't seem too bad there, but there were certain touches that felt a little bit weird with him. Turn it, give it to him here. Oh, we could have gone for that through ball, but we're going to go for that touch. Quick one, two, or maybe not. He gets completely wiped out, and that's not even going to be a foul. RBA, well played. Good touch. Little scoop turn. He's going to run into the space. He's going to use that pace. Oh, my God. Keeper going. Just going to go for a simple hill to hill round the keeper, and we are going to get that finesse shot towards the near post. Now, that pace was pretty impressive i definitely didn't expect him to actually get onto it and especially i did not expect to come out with a goal neres just hold it up wait for him to go for that overlap what a ball touch finish towards the near post i saw him i saw him move the keeper and as soon as he moved the keeper you know i was just, just gonna shoot towards the near post and you knew romarinho was never ever gonna miss that feet pass it back fake shot 
Lacoqueta going up. That's nice. I'm going to go for a power shot. I gave him a very, very hard challenge there. Like, I kind of messed up. I should have took a few more touches going forward. And it could have gave him a better angle. But I really tested out the finishing there. And trust me, it came out clutch. Did you see the shot power? That was literally the most important thing there. He needed to put a lot of power into it. And that's exactly what he did. I like how he's actually coming short here. Like, he's not just sitting on the striker position like Neres is right now. He's actually, like, going into the middle there. He's giving me the passing option there. He cups back and then makes a run. And he's just slightly, slightly going to be offside. But you can see he's attacking AI and what he's actually doing. He's trying to give me the passing options. He's not going to be a player that's just, you know, consistently going to be running in behind. Eto, I see you, Romarinho. Turn. I'm going to go for the finesse shot. It's going to be a very... Very good shot, but we are going to end up hitting a crossbar. Imagine if that went in, though. Double way. Normal way. Inside. Inside again. Oh, look at that. With the power shot. Not the greatest shot. Let's all be fair. The animation kind of threw me off a little bit, but at least it went in. But did you see the double Lacoqueta cancel to create the angle? Oh, come on. I'll be that. Well played. Maybe a quick one, two. Try to get him in behind. Look how fast. Oh, my God. Look at that pace. Go for that finesse shot. The guy keeps moving the keeper the wrong way. Like, what is this guy doing? He keeps thinking, I'm going to go across goal. But as soon as I see him move the keeper, you best believe I'm just going to hit the other way. Give it to his feet. Can I get that round a corner? That's literally perfect. Flick this. Inside. Well played. Couldn't get the finesse shot off, but we're going to get lucky. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up a second. Inside. Oh, that's perfect. That's beautiful. No, the four-star weak foot let us down. To be fair, he was kind of leaning away from goal. So you can kind of expect why the shot wasn't the greatest. But I did feel like he should have done a little bit better. Double way up. Good touch. I've noticed it, by the way. It doesn't matter how hard I hit the ball at this guy. He always, always takes a good touch. And that is exactly what you want to see. Maybe I can create an angle. I've done well. No, and the block is actually going to come out. You can see, though, the way he keeps that ball very close to his feet, allowing me just to try to get these, you know, quick angles. At the start, for some odd reason, his R1 dribbling didn't feel, like, great at all. But I've started to kind of feel it a bit more. And I'm telling you, the way he keeps it nice and close, the way he's kind of quick with it, it's very, very good to see. Pass it down. He's in. Fake shot going up. Oh, a scoop turn. I'll definitely take the scoop turn because the scoop turn there gives me a better angle to go for that power shot. And look at the finish. This is what I mean. You get this guy on his right foot and you know it's going to go in. You've seen multiple times the accuracy and the power literally be spot on. Can I give it to his feet here? I can. Go for a fake shot. There you go. That's perfect. Around him. Little ball roll. A few step overs. Can I get a ball roll again? He uses his strength there. Keep to keep on the ball but the aggression you can see he kind of gave up halfway through trying to actually fight for it and that is where you're going to notice a player that would probably have like 80 aggression there probably would have came out with that ball but because he hasn't got the greatest aggression he isn't really going to win it oh my god I was about to score some one hell of a goal as well with him give it to David nice pass down well played shield it off a little bit gonna go for the finesse shot early and we are gonna get the goal as soon as i saw him bring out a keeper i knew to go for that shot early and we obviously get the goal of it and this guy is gonna go ahead and rage quit he's in play that through ball well played pass it back up go for a first time bridge to get the acceleration boost use that pace to get round him double ball roll step over hill to hill Oh, stop it. No, I even did the little shot cancel and everything to see if I can get an angle, but it really didn't work out. I'm telling you, boys, he's dribbling his top tier, and I'm going to be honest, I haven't really seen that composure come into play. Usually with players that have around 80 composure, sometimes you do notice if they're getting pressured, they may take like a very bad touch at a very odd occasion. But I'm telling you guys right now, I haven't seen that occasion just yet. Going to call him short because I saw he was about to make that run. Go down. Wait for it inside good touch that's perfect and we are gonna get the finish as well do you see what i mean about his skill moves like the he keeps it so close to his feet which allows me to combo it up a little bit and it allows me to just like get into these angles that my opponent don't really expect me in i've sent him on a through ball maybe i can hit it that's a good through ball and it is gonna be slightly offside that is one way that a lot of people i feel like is gonna use this guy because of how good his pace is i feel like a lot of people especially with the fifa 21 meta is just gonna send this guy on a run and you know you know he's gonna get on the end of it because he's done it in multiple occasions get a rba get a fake shot pass it all the way down that's perfect I see him back stick, but I doubt he's going to win it, saying that he is 5'9", so I'm going to double weight into him. R1 dribbling. 
LBY, that's a ball. Oh my god, that through ball literally, literally had to be pinpoint perfect. And it exactly was. And Royce, what a body and what a finish. R1 dribble with Wallace. He's clearly not the greatest. We're going to pass down. Quickly get away from his feet. Into the middle. Referee, surely. I was about to say, surely that's going to be a penalty. I don't even think, by the way, the guy was actually controlling him. He just, you know, the guy just tackled me from the behind. But, hey, I'll take the penalty nonetheless. Now, he's got 90 pence. So, you best believe there's only one thing we're actually going to go ahead and do. And it is going to be the chip towards the top bins. It's going to be perfect. And the keeper is going to dive under it. And we are going to get the goal. So it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with Romaninho. We scored ourselves nine goals and we even came out with a cheeky assist as well. And what an assist it was. It was a perfect overtop through ball over to foot birthday Royce. And we all knew as soon as he hit that volley, it was going to go in. We don't expect anything less, anything less from a foot birthday Royce. Either way, this card is going for 400k, aka he's extinct. Do I believe he should be extinct? Do I believe he should be going for 400k? I don't believe so. Like, a player from this league going for 400k, I definitely feel like it's overpriced. And it's understandable why it's overpriced right now. Simply because he just came out. He's a very hyped up player. So, you know, people want to try out the card. People want to see how good he is. So, that's the only reason I feel like the card is currently extinct. I feel like once the hype goes down a little bit, the card will probably settle, out, settle down at like 250k. 250k because of the links that he gets is 100% understandable. But for 400k, I feel like it's slightly overpriced. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace-wise, I am going to give him, I would say a 9.7. A 9.7 out of 10. I don't believe he deserves any higher than that, simply because I have felt faster players. Team of the year, Fonda Davis being one. Team of the season, Rashford being the other. You know, those two players are extremely, extremely quick in this game, and they are faster than Romadinho. So yeah, I can't give this guy a 10 out of 10, but he definitely deserves a 9.7. Shooting ability, get this guy on that right foot, you know it's gonna fly into the back of the net but on the left foot it was a little bit questionable I felt like the power was 100% there but the accuracy really wasn't but I'm still gonna give him a high rating for the shooting and it is gonna be I would say a 9.2 out of 10 I feel like if that left foot was slightly better for me personally I'll probably boost up to like a 9.3 slash 9.4 but for now I'm gonna keep at a 9.2 passing ability you saw the passes this guy was doing keep in mind there was no upgrade to the long passing and you saw how perfect it actually was so for passing i am gonna give this guy i would honestly say like an 8.8 .8 slash an 8.9 out of 10 he 100 deserves it dribbling ability i must admit i didn't really notice like barely any composure coming to play like i thought this guy in certain occasions while getting under pressure he was gonna kind of worry a little bit not worry sorry panic a little bit and then all of a sudden he might take like a bad touch in a certain occasion but he wasn't doing it he simply was not doing it. And it was really, really surprising. So for the dribbling boys, I am going to give this card. I'll probably say... I'll probably say like a 9.4. A 9.4 out of 10. He 100% deserves it. If this guy had like 5-star skill moves, oh my god. The amount of things you could do with him would have been absolutely ridiculous. But obviously, you know, 4-star skill moves is not bad at all. Physicals. I did feel like the aggression did let him down in a lot. And I mean a lot of occasions. Which, which was really, really annoying. Because I knew if I had a player that had like 80 aggression minimum in that occasion, I would 100% come out with a ball. But this Romadinho card right here, he backs away from a lot of stuff. Which is really annoying. Saying that he's got 91 strength, I need him to use that, you know. I need him to get into... To that contact to contact situation and I need him to bully the play off the ball but for some odd reason his aggression his aggression was just completely backing him away from that situation and just allowing the player to come in for the ball which was really really annoying so for physicals I am still going to give him a decent rating but it's not going to be a rating you probably expect and I am going to give him I would say like an 8 out of 10 I don't believe he deserves any higher than that simply because of that aggression but overall rating out of 10 boys he is an amazing card and his movement in that striker position was so 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 good so i am gonna give him who oh, i'm gonna give him a nine point i would say like a 9.1 a 9.1 out of 10 for your boy romerinho listen the guy's a beast we all knew it like look at the stats on the card look how he performed in game he was always always gonna be a beast but one thing i didn't expect was the movement and how good it actually was i'm telling you it was one of the best movements in that striker position i have seen all year but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace